In this short excursion, we'll take a look at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of the trigonometric functions and show how they all kind of fit together nicely on the unit circle. We're going to get a bird's eye view of these uh, trig functions and their relations to each other. Okay, so we'll begin here with, um, we've got a segment or sector of the unit circle. Uh, there's our radius of one. And now we've got, I've created a triangle, a bunch of triangles here. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a little symbolism here. So this is the angle theta, and it's complement the angle opposite it on the on a right triangle. I'm just going to call theta bar. So the, this note up here it reminds us that they're complements. They add up to 90 degrees. So if this is theta bar, then this angle here is going to be theta. This is going to be theta bar, and so forth. And we'll just fill her in here. Uh, that's a right angle. This is theta bar, and that's theta. All right, what fun. Okay, so we've got a green vertical line down here. And as you may have heard, the sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse of a triangle. But because this line here is just one. This whole this line here, the green line itself, becomes sine theta. Okay. Now, the cosine of theta. This word, this co here, it refers to the complementary sine of theta. So what that means is this is the sine of theta's complement. I'm gonna. I'm writing it up here as part of this other triangle, which is really the same triangle. Uh, so you can see that it's the sine of the complement. Okay, so there's your sine and your complementary sine, uh, sine and cosine. Now here I've got a two-colored line which is tangent to this circle. So now I've extended this line down here, I call it a secant line, and we'll see why in a bit. And we now have a triangle here, which is similar to the triangle. It's got the same angles as this smaller one that we were working on. And so the opposite over the adjacent of this theta is, we call it the tangent of theta. And because the adjacent is just one, this blue line here, this blue segment, is the tangent of theta. Okay, and it's tangent. All right, so now we've covered sine, cosine, and tangent. All right, now this line here, this orange line down here, it cuts through the circle, and uh, secant means a cut. All right, um, now secant you might remember, uh, is the reciprocal of the cosine. And here we have it uh, because you're, the cosine of theta uh, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the secant would be the hypotenuse over the adjacent. And because the adjacent is just one, this whole line is your secant. All right. So there's sine, cosine, tangent, and secant. Now, how about the cosecant? Well, we've got the same thing at work here, okay? But now it's the secant of the complement of theta. So again, it's the, this long line here, the hypotenuse of this triangle. Uh, divided by one, so it's just the hypotenuse, but now it's the complementary secant, or we could see it as being the uh, the hypotenuse over 
the opposite. Okay, so your cosecant is 1 over the sine. And then finally, your cotangent is 1 over the tangent, but we could also see it as being the tangent of the complement of theta. And so here it is. It's this opposite side divided by 1, and it's the complement of theta. Or we could just see it as being the reciprocal of the uh, of the tangent of theta. So here's here's theta, which would be opposite over adjacent. So adjacent over opposite is the cotangent. All right, and there we have six functions. And you could listen to that all again, or you could look down into the description where you get a nice copy of this whole brigamarole for your fridge. And I would recommend it as an exercise to go through each of these and justify why each is the, this is the sine, the cosine, the tangent, the cotangent, the secant, and the cosecant of theta. And that will be a good exercise to get a handle of how these functions are all related to one another.